Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a bunch of new, new. I wandered to Sephora. I tried to go to Ulta, but they all closed super early here in Washington. What is up? Um, but anyway, long story short, got my hands on some new, 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 new. And then I am gonna be sharing with you all the most incredible face item that I will be using to prime my skin today. I'm really excited to chat about it. This is a rare thing going on for me. And it's kind of funny, the timing of my last video, I was giving you all a little bit of industry behind the scenes. I mentioned in that video, it is very, very typical for a brand to reach out and say, hey, we have a new launch. We would like you to try it. We'd like to do a brand deal. And I usually say, bring it to me. I will see how I like it. And then we can go from there. And a lot of the time I'm like, I don't like it, sorry. Mm. Right in the mix of filming and being like, I'm not, I'm not in this. A brand reached out that totally has my heart that I have history with. And I was like, okay, send it my way. I will try it. James tried it as well. So before I get into all of the makeup, we are going to apply a cream that I am in love with. No exaggeration. I would likely be talking about this product whether they sponsored me or not. So um, thank you to Ula Henriksen for sponsoring this video. Your new product is absolutely wow. Like W-O-W wow. I am not frequently impressed by creams. Straight out the gate, the jar is my favorite color of all time, purple. This is the Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Now what's What's really unique about this. It has eight different peptides. So if you are a peptide lover and you want to strengthen the skin, you want that moisture barrier to be it just working for you. And a lot of people are like, why is moisture barrier important? Well, it protects the skin. And a lot of the time, if we over exfoliate, if we're using things that are too harsh on the skin, if we're causing an imbalance, you can disrupt that moisture barrier and you can have things like contact dermatitis, irritation, flakiness on the skin. So those two things that I just mentioned are the very reasons that I decided to move ahead and talk about this product. So for one, the flakiness on the skin, you guys have heard me say recently, probably in like every other video, I'm like, oh my gosh, as I've gotten a little bit older, my skin is more dry. We are inching up there. She has a birthday right around the corner. I am holding on to a good skincare routine like nobody's business, but I have not been getting facials, lasers, Botox, filler, none of it. So I feel that a good skincare routine at home right now is super important. We're not out at the spa all the time. The world has definitely changed. I feel like the mask situation can cause irritation and breakouts and it's like a whole thing. So anyway, this product really impressed me. This is rich with ceramides, with collagen. So you're getting hydration, you're getting moisturization. It has hyaluronic acid. You guys know I love that ingredient. So when I was going through the ingredient listing, I was so impressed. The fragrance is really light and bright. It is a cream to gel texture. So you you go in here and like literally it's thick but when you put it on it does not get oily and greasy which is another thing that i like about this is that you can and i'm just going to go ahead right now and put it on i just washed my hands normally i'm really picky and i take like the little scooper or a q-tip in the jar tip from me to you if you're using this at the counter in your bathroom make sure to wash your hands anyway so i take about this much because i'm going to get a little on the neck as well and this stuff just melts into the skin. It's thick, but it almost goes on like a primer. The dry down to a gel kind of gives the foundation a nice glide on, but also a little bit of that grip. I am in love with this product. So when I first started using this, I was super surprised that really quickly my dry skin right here is my trouble spot started completely vanishing. It is cold here. It is dry here. My skin has been just like crinkly. There's no other cute way to describe it. It's like crinkly skin. I'd be putting straight oil on my skin. Like nothing was fixing it. This started like slowly, but kind of quickly, like within a week, bringing my skin back to life. Now here is the actual kicker as to why I am so like sold out on this product. My husband has the most sensitive skin 
anybody has ever seen. He goes and gets a facial and like contact dermatitis, red. Like if you've ever seen him next to me in videos, his skin is very red. He is super sensitive. He has a reaction to everything. I feel bad when I order him stuff and I'm like, hey, try this. And then he'll get a rash and he'll literally get like red bumps on his face. Took a risk, had him start out on this and it has worked so well. His skin looks better than ever. He's refusing to be on camera. It would make this video a lot better if he would be on camera, but that's a discussion for another time. Um, but Ula Henriksen, I have a flashback memory of this man teaching me about skincare over 20 years ago when I was working for a beauty collection in California. I was 19 years old and like in love with makeup, in love with beauty, everything. And like wanted to be around that industry as much as I could. I went to a training and I just have to say a shout out to the brand because it has never left my mind that the brand founder himself came to the shop and educated us on everything in his line A to Z, left every employee with this huge bag of full-size items where back in the day, other brands would come in and they would give you like one product or they would give you samples. And this man came in and he gave us all like this huge bag of everything and then said, if you need something else in your routine, I wanna offer it to you and just, you know, contact this number and let us know. So back when I was making $7.50 an hour selling shampoo at a beauty supply, that was really memorable for me. He also offered for all the employees that worked at the beauty supply to have 50% off of services at his spa in West Hollywood. I believe it was on Sunset Boulevard. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I mean, I still couldn't afford it, but I just remember thinking that was so generous. I remember also feeling like if I ever have a brand one day, I'm gonna run it like that. So he made a big impression on me in business back when I was just a 19 year old selling shampoo. So to have the opportunity to show a wonderful product that he has created here on my channel, I'm honored to do so. And it's just really cool. Like how awesome, right? Like how like full circle cool is that? So anyway, I hope you guys uh, check this out. If you have not yet, it is a great product in love. Use it on your neck too. Okay, moving into makeup. We're gonna go in just with a little hit of Tarte because this area needs it. So we're just gonna do that. And I'm gonna do pretty light makeup today. So what I'm gonna start out with, this is from Tarte. This is their Colored Clay CC Under Eye Corrector. P.S. I don't use an eye cream. Um, I just take this up a little bit. You don't need to use an eye cream. I'm kind of back in that game. Sometimes I feel more high maintenance than others, but I have noticed if you get a mirror like this, you're gonna know the truth about your skin. I know some of us don't wanna look that close up. We're like, forget it. I don't even wanna know what's there. But I started noticing my eye creams. I was getting massive clogged pores through here because I was using something a little bit too rich. The reality is as long as you're not bringing the cream all the way, like all the way up, you can use your face cream as your eye cream. Just don't tug on the area and don't oversaturate it and you'll be fine. So that's kind of what I've been into and it's working out. My skin has changed so much this past year. Like this was the year. I think it's my move. I think it's obviously stress. I think it's my age and more stress and the state of the world and more stress. I was getting stressed out reading about what stress does to your skin. Like, what is that? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're like, okay, how do I like fix like these problems that I'm having? It's like, well, stress is causing every issue that you have in your body. And so now I'm like, oh my gosh, like I need some chamomile tea or something. I don't know. Let's go in. I am just going to fast forward this portion because we've seen me do this 5,000 times. I'm going to put on a little Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing in the shade 310. But as I fast forward this portion, notice the glide. Like, or what's not, I don't know. The foundation goes on so nice. When your skin is hydrated the right way, not like a grease ball, but like plumped, your foundation will always go on better. It is so, so important that your skin is kept in shape for your makeup to look good. It doesn't matter what kind of foundation you use or how expensive it is, or if it's the best foundation ever. It doesn't even matter. When you have that crinkly skin, 
and your skin is out of whack, it's just not gonna look good. And it's kind of devastating. It's like, oh my gosh, why is Tom Ford, you know, $150 foundation betraying me? It's like, cause your skin is dry. I did pick up like three different foundations at Sephora that I wanna do like full day wear tests. I didn't wanna do it today. I just knew I would be talking a lot, but I wanna do a dedicated. I'm gonna pull you guys probably over on IG. So go follow me on IG and I'll show you what I have in mind to try out. And you can tell me which one you wanna see a full day wear test of. Yeah, that makes like the biggest difference ever. I don't have to spend like five hours blending or piling more on, which is a mistake. When you feel your skin is not looking so hot, the tendency is to take more foundation. I'm guilty of it myself, but when it feels bouncy, hydrated and nourished in the right way, you can just kind of like, I just feel like, okay, we're good. We're stopping. I'm going to do a little more concealer. I'm going to go in with this Lancome All Over Ultra Wear Concealer in 110 and just really lightly go through here and just bounce that out. I am going to line my lips with Revlon Color Stay Long Wear in Nude. So I went to Sephora, I went to Ulta, and you guys, there's just not a lot of new still. The whole front of the store, I have to say, was like all skincare. And I was like, well, snap, I already got that like done. Like we're done. I'm gonna be like in this for a long time. You guys know when I find things <laughs> that I like, I am really loyal. So you're probably gonna see me use that as a primer. Like this will be the duo. You know how I was like Tatcha and Tarte for a minute? This is like the new duo. But anyway, in Sephora, I could not find anything new. Like barely, a couple of foundations. I did find, I have my mirror propped on it, um, a new Tarte palette. And then I got this Say Liquid Lip Balm. I'm gonna use that. And this is not new, but it's new to me. And I just thought it was such a pretty color. And they had been out of this shade every time I went to Sephora for the longest time, which is another issue, you guys. Are you noticing? Like the shelves are empty. Like everything is sold out. You go in, it's like, where is everything? Literally in Bellevue, the Tom Ford uh, gondola is empty. I have feelings, but I don't wanna get into it. We're in a makeup land and we are escaping the heaviness of the world and trying to not stress so our skin looks great. Remember, remember that, yes, okay. So I'm gonna go with the shade 101 Ginkgo. Let's see if this is as fabulous as I had hoped because I wanted to buy it like three different times. Ooh, that's pretty good. Mm, mm, what do we think? I think this is more like one that you mix in with others. So we're just gonna play for a moment. We're gonna go in with this one and just try. It's this one. Say it ain't so. What come out of your home? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, that's thick. This one might be an answered prayer right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally, what? This is a thick, my lips need this. This is like actually very, very good. I have a really terrible habit of when I'm putting anything like glycolic or using any pads on my skin, which I've really tried to cool it on, okay? Even if they are marketed as daily, you don't need to exfoliate every single day, like take a breath. But when I do use like those little wipies, I will I have a bad habit of getting it on my mouth somehow and forgetting to like put on a balm or rinse it off. And I feel like it makes my lips chap. Okay, let's just keep it moving. And NARS has a new powder that is their light reflecting setting powder pressed. I would like to be light reflected. So we're going to try it out. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. It looks really exciting. Yes. Okay. Um, Makeup's just kind of boring these days. It is what it is. You know, but I actually really love doing a more natural look anyway. If I had like a fantasy makeover, which I'm really thinking about it, I have a lot of changes coming up that I will be announcing to you guys very, very soon. I know I've been kind of shy on social because my life behind the scenes has been so chaotic, 
that I'm like, no one deserves to see any of this. Like I am like a ragamuffin with a bun and no makeup and running around and working and tired. And like, there's a lot going on, but it's so exciting. And I can't wait to share. Once I emerge into like this new season, I really want to tone down the over the top. And I don't really know why I want that so badly, but I just kind of want to emerge into an arena of more sophistication. Like I was looking at all of my nail stickers and I love the glitter and I love it, but sometimes I'm like, you know what? Pick one. Like you don't need glitter lips, eyes, and nails. Maybe it's time to like kind of like be a little more embracing the natural kind of a thing. So that's kind of like the new, like my desire for a makeover is like sophisticated woman that doesn't wear a lot of makeup. I don't know how I'm gonna get that done, but you're welcome to come along for the ride and watch me try. Fast forward two months and I'm still dunked in glitter, likely. All right, we're going into this new highlighter and it is the Champagne Glow Amazonian Clay Shimmering Light Highlighter from Tarte. I saw this and I'm such an Amazonian Clay fan that I was like, I've gotta, I have to bring this home. Like it was probably one of the more exciting things that I, ooh, that is jazam. Look at that, yes, that's what I'm talking about. I totally scratched my neck. Anyone else out there accident prone? Like you can injure yourself while just sitting still somehow. Or am I the only one? It's weird. I am so clumsy. It's like not even normal. Okay, I have a blush that is newer as well. I believe it's in the same kind of golden. Yeah, it is. It's like limited edition maybe, Bloom Blush. This was on their new section of the display at Sephora. I like it. It feels like a little more elevated and a little bit fancier. You guys know I have loved Amazonian clay blushes for a long time. And we're just going to now kind of pump up this area here. I am doing a kind of backwards application where I normally would do bronzer, blush, and then highlight, but I kind of want to marry them together here. And again, I'm going for more of like a natural, like, is she wearing a lot of makeup? I don't know. Like, that's kind of what I what I want. I like this. I like this color. You know, I just gotta say, whoa, see what I'm talking about? Who, like, what is that? Why do like objects fly out of my hands? And like, I can injure myself by sitting still and not doing anything. I feel nice and flushed. I feel like the skin looks so good. I am gonna try out this Soft Sculpt Bronzer by Makeup by Mario. This has been out for a minute, but it's new to me. This is the shade Light Medium. Bronzer is one of those items. It can ruin the whole look. Let's just hope. Let's just hope Mario do it, do it up right. Okay, I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard. <laughs> Finish in your head, everybody. Yo, this bronzer though. Where have you been my whole life? Oh my gosh. You know when makeup makes you feel more beautiful? It's good. Oh, the review of the year. How do I have this as a job? I would still like to know. But thank you to everybody who's watching. Subscribe and ring the bell. The skin looks so fresh. I love the bronzer. I love the blush. I love the highlighter. I'm kind of digging the whole like balm, like kind of effortless thing. The skin doesn't look too heavy. I didn't use as much foundation as I normally do because I really like how hydrated but not greasy the skin looks due to this guy right here, the strength trainer. And also I have to say the powder was pretty good. It took down a little bit of the shine, but it didn't completely mattify or dull or mask the skin. It does not look heavy at all. My skin, even close up, just looks really fresh, really natural, not try too hard, just like really nice. So, so far, you guys, I'm liking the combo. This is not anything out of the ordinary of what I would do if I was getting ready, just like really quickly at home to go run a, a few errands or what have you. 
I'm just trying new products. So we're gonna do a little bit of brow. This is kind of cool. This is from Makeup by Mario as well. And I think I got Classic Brunette. And I'm just gonna go in and fill my brows in, BRB. All right, I like this. I don't have as much control. Oh, my brows are so hard to do to begin with. The last video that I did, I just used like the palette that I was doing my eyeshadow from and the brows were like, like they were so intense. Still, it's like the lifelong mission to figure out how I like my brows. I want them to be darker. <gasps> just chipped it. OPI Alpine Snow just played me so hard. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Dior. This is a long time love. This is just a repurchase. Could not help myself. I've been doing only powder, but I think after watching the playback of that video, like sometimes I'll be doing my makeup and I can't really see. And then I'll look at the footage and I'll be like, oh my. It just looks different. I can't explain it. It's different than doing your makeup like in your bathroom or by a window when you're doing it in front of a camera. It's a little bit more challenging, but I do have to say I like this product. Like it has kind of a stiff feel to, it's not like waxy. It's like got that shadow kind of a thing where I'm going pretty hard on my hand right here. It's like shadowy. It's not waxy at all, which I really, really love. But for me and my no brows, I definitely feel like I need a smaller pencil or a brush to go in and really define. I do want to go in ever so lightly with a little eyeshadow, this big boy right here, which part of me is like, eh, like the last big Tarte palette that I bought, I really didn't like. And I was like, the formula is off. Why am I getting this? But it was really pretty. It's really big. The price was pretty good. It's the only new shadow that looked interesting to me. So I was like, well, why not? Some Tarte palettes are really, really good. So it's a little bit of a gamble, but we'll see. I am going to go in with Magnolia. Really huge mirror in here. That's nice. I'm just going to pat this on the lid. I will have to use this more and update you guys because I really don't want to put much shadow on my eyes today. I just kind of want to keep it simple. I'm going to go next door into Sunkist. Same brush, and just stamp it on the lid. This smells like vanilla. It has that sweet kind of a scent to it. Um, buyer be warned whether you love that or not. I don't know, but it does have a sweet scent. I am going to go into the shade Witty and it's kind of a cool toned brown and I'm just going to go on the outer edge here just for a little bit of shape. I'm gonna go into Garden on the bottom row and keep this even closer to the lash line. And just, I'm not gonna do liner today, so I'm just gonna go a little bit like so. I think this looks really fresh and like really nice. I'm gonna take Cherry Blossom because it's kind of a bling, bling, bling and just hit right in here just for a little reflection, nothing major. And we're gonna stop there. All right, easy as can be. You know, these days you just wanna be out the door. We don't need, you know, two hours of glitter makeup. You know, it's fun every once in a while, but aren't we all kind of at a point where it's like, let's just get on with it and like, I need to get to my day. So now I'm gonna check out this new Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. This is like very natural, but lengthening and flirty and baby dollish. I actually am curious to see how this mascara wears because it went on really nice and I like my makeup today. So this is a quick look into my everyday natural makeup, no big fuss, 
Yes, we tried a ton of new products and surprisingly, I think everything worked out. That almost never happens. I do have a new at the drugstore that I'm gonna be filming because the drugstore really brought their A game. They do have more new launches than higher end makeup at the moment, in my opinion. I have a bunch of new new that I will be putting to the test. Let's hope that video goes the same. I'll probably do a little more spicy, kind of makeup because I have some more colorful things I want to get into. But this was just a good look of my every day. If I am meeting up for lunch, if I have a Zoom call, if I am going to the grocery, like this is just how I like to look and how I like my makeup every single day, very skin focused and light and fresh. And thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Check the description box for all the details on product. Be sure to go and check this item out, you can find it at Sephora. Go smell it. It has such a bright, beautiful fragrance. The texture is A+, and what it'll do for your skin immediately is pretty remarkable. So I'm so pleased to have partnered with Ula Henriksen. Thank you guys for reaching out to me. It is Tati approved A++. All right, there you guys have it. I hope you're having a good one, whatever you are doing, and I'm sending you so much love. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Mwah.